The United Nations in 1987 described human rights as those rights without which humans cannot function. These rights are enshrined in Chapter 4 of the Nigerian Constitution of 1999 as amended. Although in Nigeria it is perceived that some citizens seem not to know about the country's laws until certain circumstances compel them to. The reported cases of repeated sexual abuse in the internally displaced persons camps, the continuous attention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdi Kanu, and the leader of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, Ibrahim El Zagzaki, x rayed the performance of how Nigeria has fared in addressing human rights abuses, particularly in the year 2016. When laws are violated, it leads to violence. These activists, while reacting to high-profile human rights cases this year, condemned the continuous detention of the leader of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, Ibrahim El Zagzaki, Nandi Kanu, among others, describing it as a gross violation of their rights. Also recorded cases of extrajudicial killings when citizens are arrested they should be they are innocent and no one has a right to take laws into his or her hands by killing anyone without going through due process we want all nigerians to enjoy their rights of humanity by virtue of their being human beings not to be locked up even though you are conducting anti-corruption trial it should not be a reason to suspend the rights of people the court has ordered that El Zazaki should be released. He should be released. Namdi Kanu should not be kept in custody because he's agitating for freedom of his people. And so we say it that this government is moving towards a dictatorship from the manner in which people are being kept in custody. The right to be productively engaged, the right to education, the right to housing, the right to health care on the basis of need. The right to the dignity of the human person. Poverty is taking all these rights away from our people. And we don't see any concerted effort on the part of those who are in charge of our collective affairs to address these issues on a mass scale. As the year 2016 draws to a close, they however urge the federal government to respect the right of all citizens in the coming year. Ahead 2017, they also want the authorities to be hasty in investigating cases of rights violation and release individuals held unjustly. Government must respect laws, freedom of association, freedom of movement, right of assembly, and if there is any court order, government must obey such court orders. We also want as security operatives to realize that impunity is when one disobeys the law. As security operatives, government must ensure that there is the training and retraining sensitization of... So we are looking at it from the point of view of the presumption of innocence and the right to the liberty of citizens and calling on all government agencies especially the attorney general to ensure that citizens are not allowed to spend greater time in custody beyond the ones constitutionally allowed which is 24 hours in offenses that are available or in offenses that only the court can grant bail at least within a reasonable time for them to be allowed their right to custody. With these facts, the judiciary as well as the citizens particularly must be strengthened for effectiveness. Government as well should train and retrain security operatives in a bid to discourage them from taking laws into their hands.